Hi, how is everyone doing? I hope everyone is all is well with everyone. This content that you are about to view may be offensive if you are easily offended, then please do not watch. My name is Carmela Banks. So they said Takashi 69 violated parole. Why didn't I receive any news reports of him being locked up again then? Because usually when you violate parole, well, just ask Meek Mills. What happened when Meek Mills violated parole? That judge sentenced that nigga to two to four years. That nigga was crying like a fucking baby. Why ain't Takashi 69 locked up like that if he violated parole? Let's go see. Sister Camilla? Yes, uh, they say that Takashi 69 violates parole while Charlie Snoop Dogg fans contact FBI. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. This, wait a minute, hold the fuck up. He was in the feds, wasn't he? Yes. There ain't no motherfucking parole in the fucking feds. No, they said FBI. Mm -hmm. Federal prison. Yeah, they said he violated parole, didn't they? That's what they said. I, was, I just noticed that. I just I just picked up on it. I said, but wait. He, but he's on supervisor. He, he's on house arrest. He's on monitor. Oh, he so he. Okay, so he violated and, the terms yeah. of. They, that's what they. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You see yeah. how the news can trip you up? They should have just put Takashi 69 violated the terms of his and the conditions of his parole. I mean, I mean, of, of his um, house arrest. That would have been wordly perfectly. Parole, feds don't have parole. You got to do all your fucking time. <laughs> Go ahead, Sister Camilla. Now, rapper um, Takashi 69 may be headed back to federal prison just as early as he was released. Yesterday, the 24-year-old rapper who is currently on supervised home confinement... There you go. There you go. That's what they should have said. That's the title they should have put in the title. Not parole. And now you, you're going to have ignorant, stupid motherfuckers going to be, believe in that he really violated parole. Ain't no fucking parole in the feds. But go ahead, Sister Camilla. <laughs> yeah, um, it appeared to have, he has appeared to violate multiple laws while trolling rival rapper Snoop Dogg. And media takeout news has learned that at least a dozen of Snoop fans have sniffed on Takashi, both to the Federal Bureau of Investigation and the federal judge who released Takashi from prison early. Hmm. Like, like dog father, like doggies. <laughs> what they call Snoop? They call Snoop the dog father, right? And all his little doggies is following right after the dog father. A little motherfucking damn snitch. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? I can't believe Snoop Dogg calls somebody a snitch. That's the biggest snitch that motherfucking is. Motherfucking him. He, he, he can act motherfucking him like he's a fucking him. Oh, I'm a crib and that's on crib. Nigga, crib shit. Fuck a crib and fuck a Snoop. <laughs> Snoop is the biggest snitch there is. Nah. And then his little minions is motherfucking damn snitches, you know. Snoop and Snitch. Go ahead, S Sister Camilla. Yes, um, now Takashi posted a video of Snoop, who is married, um, semi dressed in his bedroom with popular Insta body playing a pal. Now, Takashi was hoping to expose Snoop's extramarital affair as a part of a trolling campaign. Wait a minute, um, Snoop is married to Selena Powell? 
Um, what did it say? Takashi posted a video of Snoop. Now, you know Snoop is married. Okay? So, semi-dressed, he was semi-dressed in his bedroom with the popular Insta body, Selena Powell. Oh, Selena Powell is an Insta... Oh, okay. She's an Insta yeah. personality. I'm not going to call him an Insta body. model. They, called, they said she was an Insta body. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's who you she know, is. I thought she for, was, yeah, I thought she was some a actor or something. For, a thought stands for that whole over there. Oh, um, oh, oh, okay. I didn't know what that a thought means, you know what I'm saying? You know, back in the damn 80s and 90s, you know what I'm saying? Uh, when we see a woman that acts like, you know what I'm saying? What you guys call fights, we just call them whores, you know what I'm saying? A whore is a whore, you know what I'm saying? We don't have fancy names for them. We either call them a whore right. or a bitch. Either you're a bitch or a whore. Right. Pick one of them. We don't have these fancy names. Oh, you a five. Fatiana. No, no, you a whore. If you laying down, motherfucker, and I'm taking multiple dicks in the mouth, ear, and nose, you's a fucking whore. You know what I'm saying? That's bottom line. But, um, so, Chris, so, Selena, uh, Powell, uh, was next to Snoop. Wait, why are they worrying about Snoop being married for? Snoop ain't motherfucking them honored a marriage since motherfucking them he left the LBC. <laughs> Real talk. That, that nigga had a motherfucking dick in his eyes, ears, and nose. He need to go see an eye, ear, nose specialist to get one out of him. That's some shit. Go ahead, Sister Camilla. No. Um, so Kikoshi was hoping to expose Snoop's extramarital affair as a part of a trolling campaign, but he had quickly realized that he messed up because Takashi's real name, Daniel Hernandez, deleted the video that he posted. Now, here's the video that he, here's the video that he did post, and this is the one with Selena, Selena Powell and this guy teamed up to prove that he dog is actually cheating. We can't hear it, Sister Camilla. Okay. So, um, but in doing so, Takashi likely exposed himself to more time, to more prison time. Now, fans quickly began accusing Takashi of violating California revenge porn laws, and in doing so, violating the terms to his release from prison. Yeah, but motherfucking them Takashi is not in California. That nigga's on Long Island somewhere. <laughs> that's how that's how that motherfucker shit works. <laughs> we ain't in California. <laughs> Takashi sixty nine is from New York, and nine times out of ten he got locked up in New York. So nine times out of ten, if they going to relocate them, they're going to relocate them in the New York area. Not in California, that's a different jurisdiction. Not in Florida, that's a different jurisdiction. He was locked up in the North America jurisdiction. So he will be somewhere on either Long Island, Southampton, East Hampton, you know what I'm saying? Maybe upstate New York somewhere. But nevertheless, he's in New York. So that's how you know that that motherfucking shit is bullshit. Probably for more publicity for fucking Takashi 69, which he don't need no publicity. But hey, I guess you won't, you know what I'm saying? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Keep the publicity going, huh? He didn't violate shit. Now let him violate something in New York. Go ahead, Sister Camilla. Yeah, so NPO News has confirmed that California laws make it a crime for any person who intentionally distributes the image of the intimate body part or body parts of another identifiable person or an image of the person de depicted engaged in an act of sexual intercourse. Now, in the video... What you can see below, Snoop is semi-dressed, and his fans are hanging low 
exposes his buttocks. But that's not the only law that Takashi uh, violated, according to Snoop Singer. Now, Takashi may have also violated California wiretapping law. NTL News is hearing under California law, it is illegal to record a person inside their home without their knowledge. The law makes it also illegal to spread or circulate any secretly recorded video on the Internet. Now, in the video of Snoop and Selena, it is pretty clear that Snoop has had no idea that he was being filmed, making it a crime. Uh, I don't think so, because uh, first of all, the Takashi 69 is not a resident of California. He's not in California. And I don't even think Selena uh, Powell is in California. <laughs> Oh, Lord, man, they just be bringing up more bullshit after more bullshit. He ain't going nowhere, man. <laughs> they need to stop it. <laughs> what do you think about this, like, Sister Camilla? I don't know. They're, um, they're saying under strict inter interpretation of the federal rules, Takashi could be rearrested and wind up behind bars again if the feds agree with Snoop saying. Now, the more likely outcome, however, is that Takashi will be entitled to a hearing where the judge or the parole board will decide whether he violated the conditions of supervised release and if so, whether to send him back to jail or prison. Now, with that being said, I don't know, like, how that works. Actually, I don't know where Takashi 69 is. I don't, and I guess they're saying something about California. He violated some terms, so they're trying to bring him up on some charges. So mm. uh, we just have to wait and see how the ball drops. Yeah, yeah, because, you know what I'm saying, that would be a whole nother case. See, the case that he's on, uh, uh, Takashi 69 is on, it just involves New York. All the crimes that he have done... For the cases that he's charged with, it all happened in New York, not California. So therefore, if they was to charge him, it would be a whole nother charge, a whole nother case. He would have to get rearrested and this will be a new case, a new, tri a new trial, a new shit. Because it's a whole nother charge. So, nah, I don't think so. Try and try again, Snoop Dogg. Go back to the LBC and motherfucking MCCC. Put your foot in your ass. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour right here on Gospel Talk Radio. I am your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. And my co-host is that lovely, sweet lip lady called Sister Camilla Bates. In it easy for sheezy? Hit that like button, share button, comment board. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you. Even though your winds blow, I want you to know, you cause me no alarm, cause I'm safe in his arms. Even though your rain falls, I can still make this call. You will be peace. Now I can say, go away. I command you to move today. Look, I told the storm to pass. Storm, you can't laugh.